I went back and forth on if I was gonna actually film this or not because I'm gonna do it on my phone. And I was like, I don't know, but listen, I literally, so you saw the video that I posted Saturday where Eleanor had her baby Nora. She's gorgeous, she's beautiful, she's in the barn doing fantastic. And then I went upstairs because I launched some new stickers and keychains and I was doing a live. And then I came down here because I am a photographer for one of the local schools just to help them out to do like homecoming and proms and stuff. And so I'm literally making pizza rolls. <laughs> like I have pizza rolls in the little oven thing. And I look outside and I see this little back, black dot by La Fonda and I'm like, shit. Cause I was worried. So I was like, I'm gonna have to, like I just put myself and made myself look semi-presentable. <laughs> and now I'm gonna get dirty. But luckily everything is perfect. She's doing great. Let me show you her before Sorry I Sorry that more. this quality is not ideal cause it is on my iPhone, but um, baby and mama are right there. She did everything perfect. She went away from the herd to have her baby. She went to where it was clear and clean. So baby has a great start. I went out there when she was like fresh, like LaFonda hasn't even passed her afterbirth yet. And she is already up in nursing. That's why you can't see the baby that well. Hello, Fiona, <laughs> Fiona. <laughs> I'm just making up names cause I'm so flustered. That is Phoebe, <laughs> but yeah, baby is doing great. I will take you guys to see her in just a second. You will get to see the cute little baby. And I'm pretty sure we've already named her through Patreon, but I just wanted to show you and I will get more up close with you. But I'm gonna tell you what all that LaFonda did right, cause she's such First. a good mom. Are my pizza rolls burning? That is the question. No, they need another second cause they're not busting out. If you don't eat your pizza rolls when they have stuff busting out the sides, you're doing it wrong. I am actually not gonna rush out there and bring her into the maternity ward. And you might be like, Lacey, shouldn't you bring her in? Here's the thing. If I just throw LaFonda and that baby into the maternity ward, both can get confused. They need a little time to establish that relationship of like, this is my mom, this is my baby. So I'm going to leave them alone out there. It's a nice day. I was just out there in my t-shirt. It's not super cold. So before evening, like before nighttime, they're gonna come in the barn and they're gonna join the maternity ward and I'll get her ear tagged. But for right now, they are bonding. She is nursing. I'm leaving them the heck alone because <laughs> I wanna make sure that they develop that bond and LaFonda knows what she's doing. So they're gonna do fine. It's only gonna be a couple hours. I'm gonna leave them outside and then I will bring them into the barn, into the maternity ward where they can hang out. We're girl heavy this year, which honestly, after the year we've had, we can use some girls. So I'm not even- We are continuing with the phone blog. I'm sorry if blog, this is a vlog, it's a video. <laughs> so I'm sorry if the audio is not as chef's kiss but i'm getting ready to use my camera for photography so i'd really rather not bust it out but let's go look at the little new babe that i talked about i believe me and patreon have decided her name is gonna be onyx little cute black calf i don't know how the heck he's throwing all these but oh she is spunky oh she has energy i bet she got a little bit of milk all right so, let's go see her. you see how mom is walking away she was laying down but now she got up and she's walking away very normal behavior she would typically be like, all right, you don't need to see my baby, but all my cows know that I mean no harm. So I'm sure she will let me get close again, but it's just a typical, you know, herd animal thing to do. If they seek danger, the first thing they're gonna do is protect their baby at all costs. Well, here we are, Miss Onyx and Miss Mama. How the heck are we doing? Hi, cutie. Mom, you uh, getting ready to pass some stuff, huh? Look at you. <laughs> Hi there, cutie. You are another good sized calf, aren't you? Hello. How are you? All the other cows are up there eating. It's so normal. They just like to give mamas some space, you know, some time since they know that they're calving, which I think is really cool. Little baby, she's just walking alongside mama, hanging out. <laughs> Leona's like, what's going on? You have a baby? That's super cool. But yeah, she's just, <laughs> she's fresh though. You can definitely tell. She's still learning how to walk and everything, but LaFonda, you did so good, mama. Yeah, you did so good. Baby looks so good. She's got enough energy. Oh, look at her. She's probably gonna get some more milk. Are you confused by who Leona is? <laughs> She's like, hi, who are you? <laughs> who are you? I'm not gonna lie, I did tear up a little bit earlier because I saw just how cute she was and it just made me happy to see how we've had three happy, healthy girls so far and she was just up getting ready to nurse 
and it just made me so happy after the year that we've had getting some nice positive things happening has just it was a little overwhelming but in the best way hi you are so cute yes you are hello you're just figuring out the world aren't you you're just figuring it out huh leona's like who is this child <laughs> why is she why is she obsessed with me that's gonna be your babysitter probably she likes to babysit y'all and she gonna be a mama this year hi cutie <laughs> like hi who are you oh mom that's mom okay where you at i need udder <laughs> i need more milk <sighs> i just love baby calves i could sit out here and watch her all day i really could look how cute so precious yes you are too leona don't you worry oh i think she's i think she's getting ready to latch on and so that means i'm gonna get the heck out of here because i don't want to disrupt that lafonda Again, congrats. You did great. Very proud of you. I'll leave you the heck alone. Leona, keep watch. Little Onyx, you're gorgeous. But like I said earlier, my dad, he left to go do something really quick this afternoon, evening, and then I have to go take some photos. So we're going to let them bond, really gain that, you know, relationship because it's really not too bad out. I think it's almost 50 degrees and the sun is out and La Fonda has her where it's not super gross. So I'm not too concerned. I think she's already nursed, which is the biggest thing, but still to just be super duper safe, I do want her to be in the maternity ward. So when I get home later, me and dad will put her in there. I might film a good bit of it. I'll try to at least, that way you guys can see it. Real quick, I'm just gonna check on Athena because I wanna see if she's close because she's the other one, our other cream colored queen who seems like she's gonna yeah. have a baby old girl is string a -lingin'. so if she doesn't calve tonight it'll probably be tomorrow i'm fairly confident in that so another baby i'm super excited <laughs> are you gonna have another black one i don't really care it's just crazy because you'd think shorthorn would help make them colorful i mean happy healthy babies all i care about but i do like to see some really color really nice color patterns but everyone else is just eating some hay i'm gonna go in and do that stuff but I'll come back to you later when we bring little Onyx and LaFonda into the pen so that they can join the maternity ward. Well, Snow, don't even. Bob's gonna feed Hay in a second. Hello, little babes. How are you? We're gonna put you in the barn to make sure you stay safe. I'm gonna make Bob carry her because I have a birthday party to go to. And so I can film it because yesterday I carried a uh, the little baby of Eleanor's in. So I'll show you kind of what we do. Dad's just gonna grab little Onyx. And then mom sees that and is like, what the heck, you taking my baby? Oh yeah, Bob, beautiful. Come on, LaFonda. Come on, mama. He's got your babes. <laughs> She's not a small calf. I just needed to come grab her real quick so she knew that it was her baby we're taking and she's gonna take a little poo, that's fine. Come on, mama. Good job, that's your babes. So, what you just saw was dad carrying LaFonda's baby Onyx in with LaFonda. It went super smooth, I love it. We're gonna keep these three in here for just a little bit, maybe like another couple days to a week, just to make sure everybody's strong and healthy. Look at little Phoenix, <laughs> like, I'm gonna eat this too. <laughs> but I just gave them some hay, and now I'm gonna go ear tag little Onyx. I will try to um, get the video of me ear tagging her, but it just depends on the like setup. But there she is right there, making friends, walking around. So I'm gonna go ear tag her real she quick. She has been ear tagged. I was not able to film it because as soon as I set my phone up, she went to the other side, but it really doesn't bother them. The video with Larry, I have a snippet of ear tagging him. And like I said, it really doesn't hurt them. It's a real quick pinch, just no different than a little ear piercing. But this is now the maternity ward. Phoenix is gonna get her some little brunch. LaFonda and Onyx are in here. Bob just fed some grain, and now he's gonna bring some to these girls. Ooh. <laughs> Red's like, hold on. Wait a dang minute. <laughs> but yeah. Hello? How are you? How you 
you doing now, babes? Oh, I almost fell over. Nora, how do you like it in here with your friends? Huh? We got Nora, Phoenix, and Onyx. Hi! Just some three little pals. You guys are going to stay in here until you're a little stronger. Mainly you. And then, I know Doja, I will go feed you in just a second. But yeah, beautiful, lovely. You guys are doing so great. Yes. I hope that you guys do not mind another phone camera video because like I said, I just didn't want to bust out my big camera, but that was having two babies in one day and just continuing on with the maternity ward. This is the ear tagger. Um, it looks like a ear piercer gun. You bit the big part there and then there's a second part that has the sharp end and it goes and it pierces them real quick. Like I said, not painful, just a real quick pinch. No different than when you got your ears pierced, if you have them pierced. But that is all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, heck yeah, Onyx, <laughs> give it a thumbs up, give it a like. And then you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content. All my links are down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.